apps have virtual currency? Oh, wow. Okay. So raise your hand if you are thinking about building apps within the next uh, 30, 60, 90 days. Oh, good. Okay, you're at the right place. And if not, what are you looking to get out of this? I saw some people here not raise their hands at all. Because <laughs> we're going to talk about monetizing social applications. And uh, these guys have some great ways. They're already making a ton of money, so they're going to kind of talk you through and uh, here's some examples of what's working today in this environment. Um, so let me just go ahead and walk you through a little bit of OfferPal. Um, OfferPal Media, we do have two founders, Anu Shukla, who many of you may have heard. She spoke at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. upstairs. Um, I don't think I do need that mic, do I? No, no. Is it okay? Yeah, you're fine. Um, and then Mitch Liu. So we have two founders. They both are serial entrepreneurs. They, this is their third startup. Um, we've been around since uh, really June of 2007 when Facebook opened up their platform. Uh, Mitch and Anu had a small team building widgets for MySpace and all of a sudden Facebook opened up their platform so it's just a perfect migration. Uh, we are not an ad network, we are a technology company. Um, we have several patents on our technology and I'll talk a little bit more about that um, as we go through the presentation. Um, we have about 400 publishers that we work with and a publisher is really just an individual developer or a team of developers that have built social applications. We go across any platform, so we can go anywhere you go. Uh, today we're powering apps and partnering with developers on uh, Facebook, MySpace, Bebo, Friendster, Hi5, Orkut, um, and then also on the open web, just standalone websites as well. And we have about 1,000 advertisers that we work with. We're adding new advertisers every day. Um, so let me walk you through an example of how we how it works in our environment. So ha raise your hand if you have been to the app. We'll, we'll save your apps, guys, up here. Um, but raise your hand if you've been to the app uh, Friends for Sale. Because the, the founder and CEO of Friends for Sale, Siki Chan, was supposed to be up here on the panel, but he did have an emergency. I, I pressured him hard, and he truly did have an emergency. Um, so he will be speaking at our next event. <laughs> But um, friends for sale, so you know how it works, right? You go in and there's a tab at the top that says earn money, right? And once you click on that tab, that's their virtual currency. They happen to call it money. Some developers call their virtual currency coins. Some call it, uh, well, I'll save you guys. I don't want to give it away. Um, some may call it, um, uh, let's see, who else do we not have here? Bones, right? There's some pet apps they have. You can earn bones. So there's a variety of ways that you can earn the virtual currency, but one way is to click on that tab to earn the virtual currency and it's through OfferPal. And it's just a simple iframe and it's integrated within the app so it's a part of the user experience and they're able to take offers. Um, the technology comes into play when we're powering millions of transactions on a daily basis, you need to be able to have technology behind it so it's a sustainable business model, right? So that we're getting the right advertising offers in front of the right users. So we do a variety of different targeting, optimization, etc., to make sure we get in front of the right users. Um, and I was wondering why we were leading off with, uh, we're, we're VC-backed, and I guess that's to tell you that we will be around. Um, we are a good partner. We'll be around uh, next year and beyond. Um, you so have always paid your bills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Testimonials, I love it. Um, so. Everybody understands the whole virtual currency, right? How apps are using it today. What are some of the benefits if you're not using it today? And the group I spoke to last night were developers that have not built apps yet. So in talking to, well, that was interesting. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks, Matt. Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Um, I don't need this slide. Um, so basically, last night I was talking to a group of developers that have not built apps yet, but they're in the process of building apps. And I gave them 10 tips, and I'm not going to give you all 10 um, because it sounds like a lot of you have already well underway with your apps, but some of the tips are to make sure you think about your monetization plan before you go live. Really bake that into the strategy and the business planning up front, as well as making sure you have virtual currency. Because I do a lot of consulting with developers who launched big apps at the beginning when Facebook opened up their <coughs> platform, and now they're going back. And it's really a challenge to go back and try to integrate virtual currency after the fact. And it's, you know, at the time people thought, well, I'll just be like a website and I'll just run banner ads and that's how I'm going to monetize. Or I'll run Google, you know, text ads on the side and that's how I'll monetize. Um, which, if you've ever experienced that, you know what the click-through rates are and you know what the ECPMs are and we're talking pennies. 
Um, so you'll hear from our panelists today what the potential is by integrating an iframe offer, how it's a part of the game dynamic, how it increases user, uh, you can just read them right up here, um, how it increases the user engagement. And of course, it's going to be sticky, right? Everybody wants to compete. Everyone wants to get to the next level in the game. And so it's going to be a very sticky part of your application. And page views, let's face it, is a very good metric uh, for any app that's looking to uh, have sustainability. Um, virality, obviously that's key because all of a sudden, if you heard a news speak this morning, all of a sudden your friend sent you a flower. Well, guess what? You didn't even have that app installed. But it's motivating you to go ahead and install the app and send one back, right? Because you would be a terrible friend if you didn't do that. So it does improve, or, or birthday card, right? I'm going to plug my friends here from birthday card. Um, so again, it does improve uh, the virality. And the users obviously are very focused, and in fact, so focused, it's really funny because I, I get to read, the pleasure of reading a lot of our comments that come in from users and uh, into our customer service team, and we actually had one user that came in, and um, it actually was not a user, it was the daughter of a user, and she said, please turn off mobsters, my mom is addicted. <laughs> it's like she's not sleeping, she's not eating, she's not going out of the house because she's addicted to your game. She thought we, it was our game. She said, can you turn that game off? So again, yes, it does work. Um, keeping people engaged. And of course, uh, the part that we love is, yes, you want to build a sustainable game, you're going to have high user engagement, it's going to be sticky, but guess what? You, most people today are building apps to make it their business. And if you're making it your business, Numbers. The bottom one here is very important, right? Let's make sure we're monetizing it well. Can I ask you a question? Um, we're probably going to say questions kind of to the end, but go ahead, jump in. 